I take this wonderful opportunity to welcome our dear students on this occasion of Children's Day. This day is very important in the life of a child as well as teacher. The day reminds us about our duties towards you all. You are like a tender bird who can be molded in every way. Now, let us begin our celebration with a prayer service. A warm welcome to all the little stars present here for this prayer service. On this special day, to express a great love and tribute to a great leader and great lover of children, late Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru. We celebrate this Children's Day today. Hence, we, teachers of St. Joseph School, are happy as we fondly remember our leader as well as you, dear students, on this wonderful day. Dear children, you are God's wonderful gift. This day is being dedicated to you to make you all feel you are loved. We want to say that each one of you are precious and wanted, unique, joyful, innocent, believable and divine within as you are the stars of countless, there are countless words to describe about you, dear students. You are a wonderful creation of the Almighty. You are the rainbow of our life, full of promise for a better tomorrow. Hence, through this prayer service, we want to wish you the best of life and also ask for God's blessings on you so that you continue to live as bright and shining stars of our country. So let us all begin this prayer service by surrendering ourselves to God and coming to Him with childlike trust and confidence in His care and love for us. Light represents the presence of God who guides us with divine wisdom. As we take part in this prayer service, on the Children's Day, let us welcome the Divine Presence in our hearts, in our lives, in our midst, and into our work for blessing. Now, I invite our respected principal, Sister Bernadette, Sister Nirmala, Miss Gracie, our head girl, Adrina, and our head boy, Cabell, to light the football. For the Lord honors our father about his children, and 
and he confirms a mother's right over her children. Those who honor their father atone for sins, and those who respect their mother are like those who lay up treasure. Those who honor their father will have joy in their own children, and when they pray, they will be heard. Those who respect their father will have long life, and those who honor their mother obey the Lord. They will serve their parents as their masters. Honor your father by word and deed, that his blessing may come upon you. For a father's blessing strengthens the houses of the children, but a mother's cause uproots their foundation. The word of the Lord. For our way, 
the joy of the child is the very mind to be. By living in the present, children can express the gift of joy that dwells within each of us. Heavenly Father, surround them with your joy. Whenever the enemy tries to overtake them with negativity, depression, discouragement, anger, despair, and rejection, deeply enrich them with your blessings. Help them abide in your love and joy all the days of their life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer.
Yeah, 
joyful morning okay wonderful morning okay good anything else what good morning they are right good good morning anything else yes i want from the 10th standard yes namit what is it namit stand up extraordinary morning okay we go for extraordinary morning anything else unbelievable morning beautiful morning they are saying very good marvelous morning okay marvelous morning so this is all the other for you they tell us all this nice morning yes Yes, it was a memorable morning. Very good. Okay, so uh, these words are for you. You have made their morning a memorable, unbelievable, extraordinary, good, nice, wonderful, marvelous, whatever. So thank you for such wonderful program. So we have lots of talent in school, isn't it? Yes, yes, the teachers are talented. So are the students, isn't it? Good. So all the talents put together, we all should, you all should become somebody great in the future. That's our wish for you today. That you become someone great. Fabi, Fabi, you want to give a speech? You are giving here. You can come here. Let me ask you something. What is it? What is it that has two backbones? Two backbones with thousands of ribs, rib. You know, rib, rib bone. Okay. It is a riddle. Tell me, what is it that has two backbones with thousands of rib, ribs? R I B S.
a destiny means what's the meaning of destiny destiny is the end a place where we need to reach so the road and the railway track is there a destiny for them so it goes on and on and on and on never ends anywhere what are you saying is there an end or no there is an end a railway track is leading somewhere where does it go it goes and stops at the station from one station to the other and moves on that side somewhere it has to end a road has to take you somewhere and this road sometimes when you move the way what is we ask on the way isn't it where does this road lead to isn't it so this road will lead us to send you to school there is a road that lead you to send you to school isn't it and there is a destiny here there is a road that will take you to the high school building and you come to the primary building that has a destiny isn't it these the railway track and the road these both have a destiny and end okay suppose you travel from uh, travel from Bira Pandey apartment to Tukumuri when you travel by road when you travel how is the road how do you find the road smooth rough broken all over all over smooth all over broken or some places it is very smooth some places it is not so smooth is it like that yes yes so that is how the roads are okay that boy with the i don't know his name one who's next sitting next to anthony jacob no this one you stand up come here and take my point the road is snow somewhere rough in some places in some places it is broken isn't it in some places you find nice to travel yes it is nice and the moment this is it is broken how do you feel sitting in the vehicle how do you feel shaky 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 isn't it you don't enjoy so you are eating out of your data what happened with one block isn't it so children today we are celebrating what are we celebrating yes. how can we compare the life of children to this world can we compare the life of children with this road and with this railway track can you compare do you have a destiny yes sir gautam and selvam gautam if you are interested in giving him a talk you can come here do you have a destiny do your life have a destiny does your life ha have a destiny yes sir yes there is a destiny isn't it it has to take you somewhere have you already decided that you want to be in future Have you decided? Yes, sir. If you have not, today you must decide. First, we all should have a. You all of us should have an aim. aim. Okay, that's very important. And when you have this aim, as you start traveling on the way, you will find some places broken where you need to struggle. Some places are smooth. It's very nice. At uh, this time, it will be very nice. In some places it's very rough. You get lot of scolding. Do you get? Yes. Yes, sister. Mm. Lot of scolding, lot of corrections. All these are there in life. Are they there in life? Yes. Yes. We have sometimes smooth journey, sometimes very rough journey. But ultimately, the road has to take us to the destiny that is your aim. Just close your eyes for a moment. what do you want to be in your future think decide what do you want to be if you have already decided recall that yes i want to be this in my future what do you want to be in your future what do you want to become if you want to become a doctor if you want to become an engineer if you want to become a seaman if you want to be working in the field as a farmer as a teacher you imagine yourself in the dress in the costume how happy you feel maybe some of you want to be a pilot so i don't know i'm just say whatever comes to my mind some of you maybe you want to be a priest you want to be a nun 
Think of yourself after some times where you are going to be and how you are going to be. Those who don't know English, I said close your eyes and think. Okay, open your eyes children. Did you see yourself? Did the dress and costume and whatever, whatever, whatever? Do you feel nice? But the journey is not going to be very smooth. You will have to face problems. You will have to undergo corrections. You will have to have some or the other ups and downs, but we all of us have to walk through the journey. To the road that will take you to the destiny where you want to be. Do you follow? Repeat what I said. What did I say? Choose the road that will take you to the destiny where you want to be. Repeat. Take me. Don't tell me take you. I am already there in my destiny. That will take me. Say me. That will take me to the destiny where I want to be. Very good. So choose that road. Be prepared for the problems. But if you are determined to do it, you will do it. Okay? We are here because of you. You are here, so we are here. If you are not there, can we be here? No. So we are here for you. And so, sometimes we correct you. We are harsh with you. You must be feeling very uncomfortable, feeling the pain. But it is for, for what? For your good removal. For what are we correcting your removal? He went to sleep or have to wake him. So what are we correcting you? So what are we correcting you? Amanda Jadhi, you tell me, so what are we correcting you? Very good. For a good reason. What are we correcting you for what? For your good. So children, we wish that you reach your destiny. That is our wish of all of us here. We are with you, walking along with you, guiding you, enjoy our company also. Sometimes the company may be painful and repeating. It is for your good. We are here because of you. Because you are here, so we are here. So we pray that may, all, may God always bless you help you, be with you and take you to the place where you want to be. Don't, don't be afraid of failures. Don't be afraid of problems. You will have to always face. But if you are strong enough, you will reach your destiny. So choose the road. Choose the road. Which will take you to the destiny. Okay? I think 10th standard and 11th standard do not hear what I said. The song they sang in Villa Park is for you, isn't it? What was that? Then the song, question. What was the song? When the song was singing, was still the children are like. What was the song? See? Malare Maunama. Yes? Do I have to ask you this? Okay. So, all the best children enjoy the day, continue to enjoy the day. What about uh, snacks you will get from the school? See that you do not, do not waste and throw the wrapper in the school campus or in the classroom. It has to be in the dustbin only. Hope I am clear. 
Yes. So once again, we can give a big round of applause for the teachers. And also for the teachers, for the class houses. Everything was very nice, I think. Isn't it? Was it nice? Yes.